Um, you know, right now, I'm just really focusing on what's going on right now, just what's in front of me right now. So, uh, like I said, I'm just enjoying this process, you know, being here you know, and being prepared and just getting ready and, and enjoying, you know, all this, you know, and, you know, interviews and, you know, being able to be here and, you know, just blessed. So I'm just enjoying this process right now. So how much have you heard <coughs> throughout the past couple months about, about your demeanor? You know, everybody knows you're a nice guy. And, a lot of people maybe even saying you're too nice. Mm -hmm. You've heard a lot about that, and are you getting tired of hearing that? Um, like I said, um, I really don't look into it like that. I know who I am. I know I'm a humble guy, and you know, I can be humble sometimes, and I can be too nice sometimes. But at the same time, that's me, that's my personality, and that's how I'm going to be the rest of my life. Now, how different is it? I mean, you know, at KU, you know what that was about. It was obviously love everywhere you went. Mm -hmm. You're at the women's games, and, and people yeah. are enjoying seeing you there. and You're signing autographs, the whole thing. How different has this process been? Obviously, the NBA is a business and all that. Mm -hmm. Have you started to feel some of that already? Um, a little bit. Like you said, it's a, it's, it's a business. And, you know, when I was at KU, uh, I, I, treat, I treated that like a business, too. Like, that was my job. And, you know, I went out there each and every day to play my hardest and to play my game, the game I love, and that was basketball. And, and I just had fun out there. And, you know, now, you know, I'm going to the next level. You know, it, it's going to be different. You know, so uh, I'm ready and I'm prepared. I you talked know. to Tyshawn at camp. <coughs> and he said maybe you need to get a little nastier. That probably wouldn't hurt you. He's obviously spent a year in the league. Yeah. Have you talked to people like that uh, about um, what it would take? And, and, and if so, how, how do you get nastier? Um, it's just the mindset. You know, I know what I can do. I know I can, you know, take over games. I know I can have that, you know, that dog in me. And I know what I need to do. So, you know, like I said, I'm ready and I'm prepared. If you end up with the Magic, what, what can the Magic fans expect from you uh, on and off the basketball court? Um, I mean, like I said, at this point, I don't know where I'm going to be heading to. But, you know, like I said, I'm, wherever I go, end up at, you know, hopefully I'm, I'm going to come in and bring, uh, you know, a lot to the table, you know, come in with a, a winning man, uh, mentality and just going out there and just help my team win games and helping the organization and, you know, just hopefully down the line and just win a uh, championship too. So, you know, I just want to help and build the team and get myself better and get my teammates better too. What was it like talking to Jacques, a, a former Kansas guy? Uh, it was great. I mean, we caught up, and, you know, that's my first, second time seeing him, you know, at the draft combine and there. So it was just great uh, talking to him and getting to know him and, you know, learning, you know, little things about him and about me, too. So uh, it, it was a great experience just meeting him and, you know, getting to know him. Then outside of the draft, who, I'm sure you watched game seven. Yeah. <laughs> who were who you rooting for in that game, given uh, it was such a like, intense um, series? I was rooting for Miami Heat. <laughs> You know, uh, a lot of my friends know I'm a LeBron fan and, you know, like that. And, you know, I was rooting for them. You know, I, I was calling a lot of plays that before it happened. And, you know, I called the uh, miracle shot when Mario Chalmers hit that uh, shot before the fourth quarter. I called that shot. And, and I was definitely rooting for them, you know. And like, I told everybody that they was going to pull it off. So, and they did. It's all right, man. The big workout in Cleveland going against Otto and Victor. And what did you learn about yourself? It was a great workout. I'm glad I came. I went there and worked out with those guys, and, you know, with Victor and uh, Otto Porter, and you know, it just showed me that you know I'm very competitive, and, and it, it just showed me that I know I have this dog into a dog in me that I can work and I can compete. So that's all I did. I went down there, you know, had a great workout, competed, you know, and had fun at the same time. That's the whole thing. You having fun and you competing, and you know, it makes the game a lot easier.